All right, class, today we're going to be going over one dimensional motion of a point like particle not subject to any air resistance or friction. Let's also assume that the motion itself is negligible, so we're done. Dude, it's crazy how some people want to understand the universe at such a fundamental level, and I would kill just to know when G is negative. Well, I got a 63, and the class average was a 41, so I'm doing well. Is that what relativity is? Hey, Professor, I, <laughs> I think you made a mistake on the homework. So you asked us to find the period of a pendulum in terms of L, but you didn't give us any numbers to plug in. You can add a vector to a scalar, right? What the hell do I do with this? Yeah, I'm so stoked our homework's online. I think it's called Mastering Physics. That's probably gonna be really helpful. But why are we learning this if it's not 100% correct? I saw on Cosmos that gravity is curved space-time, so why aren't we learning that? Well, if I have two coulombs here and minus three coulombs here, then the electric force exists. Well, you're not wrong. This is 101. Fine. Good enough. Professor, I feel I should let you know that you are making this class unnecessarily difficult. I mean, friction? What's next? You're going to introduce more than one particle? Next, you're going to tell us they're not even point-like, I bet. Okay, I, I think I get it now. So momentum is conserved no matter what. Right, if there are no external forces. Okay, but energy. Energy is always conserved, right? Uh, total energy in a closed system is. Angular momentum? Yes. When there's no external torque. I'm switching to business. Thank you guys for watching. Did you laugh or did you? <laughs> Let me know in the comments section and I'll see you guys there.